Hello everybody, Anderson Gaming here and today we are going to be playing Assassin's Creed Live. So if you are watching me for the first time, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Just let me, uh, just let me set up my stream, give me a few seconds. Hope you are all having a good day. I just finished uh, Dishonored Knife of Dunwall DLC. So if you want to watch that, just uh, make, sure to, uh, make sure to check out the playlist on my channel and you shall find it. Okay, we can begin. Wrong game, wrong game, wrong game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys, I didn't mean to open up that game. What am I thinking? What is wrong with me? Oh, he just woke up from the from, uh, from his wet dream. I remember. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late, and we will. Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams. That's all. All right, I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry, long night. What a professional! What a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean, please, that's enough. All right. Stupid ass character. She hey. pissed off. Uh, hi. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us just gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us, then what? When that happens, if that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. What? Anyway, 
Enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. Does he think he's a superhero? So should you. The hell is wrong with my boy? Really, I'm fine. I promise. Venice, huh? Yeah, Venice. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on.
Keep away from me, please. God! No! Stay back! Stop! This Isn't there a decency law that applies to just such things? How do I get up there? Oh shit, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, you need a special skill to jump up there, I think. Yep.
business up here before go. You should not be up. Lucky. Yeah, he's supposed to jump even higher. I think you need to unlock that skill in this game. Pretty sure that skill comes from Assassin's Creed 3 or something. It could be in this game, let's see. I don't know. Codex page underneath. Uh, 
I think that's all the um, viewpoints we can get. This one, I can't really jump high enough because I think I need a skill for that. Maybe we can do do it later. Recording for... How do you do that? I need to bring it to Vinci? No! Ah, fuck it, let him go. I still have my money, who gives a shit? Okay, let's start doing the missions, guys. He's gone. I'm so sorry. <coughs> A great metal work here. Well, now, but then you need to learn the rules, Capone. You don't even have a bribe for me? One more problem from you, and I'll put another notch in my belt. Inconvenience me again, and it will be the end of you. Vile murderer, stay away! Very, very, very far. Keep I away from me, please. Guards! I Sadness must be exactly Please don't kill me, signore. I'll give you all I have. Messer Da Vinci! Yes? Buongiorno e ben arrivato. I am Elvise. Signor Don has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? Come! Oh, shit. It's a sad death. Sad. I will show you her wonders. Our first stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? And her clock tower, magnifico. Come, come, there's more to see. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets. Be it spices or silk, from near and far, there is, there is, 
You were told to stay home. But the rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. Stop, no, stop, stop. Let us continue the tour elsewhere. Buying it for me. I have. Uh, I left my money with my bags. Hey, on your step, Corleone. Here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally, I'd suggest a closer look. Hello, Arkham Knight. How are you doing? Good morning. Thanks for joining the stream. Hope you have a good day today. He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been a resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom, or some such nonsense. Bajanate, if you ask me. Destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the council. Good luck with that, my friend. What are you doing? I'm doing well, bro. For Thanks for asking. Commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop. Present to you your workshop, Sir Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success mm. and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. So here we are. Exciting, isn't he it? He doesn't give a shit. Here to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. And gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time or another codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Di nulla. Emilio Babarigo. Titan of Venetian industry, terror of the underworld. Aided by his powerful family, he cornered the market through smart business practices such as edging out the competition and lobbying the government. He funded the Venetian police force almost single-handedly, keeping the streets safe from crime and his finances tax-free. Hmm. Emilio claims to be a supporter of the Republic. The problem is, once you own the police force, voting becomes, well, inefficient. As does, you know, opposition. Okay, Da Vinci is the man. Yeah, I agree. Emilio Babarigo. Okay, uh, let me skip that. Leonardo, Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha, -ha, you found another one. How exciting! I think this is the key. If I just rewrite this line, and it works. Here, take it. Nice. Watch, you not abide your life. 
Get away from here. Your carcass will be the pipe. Rogue recent oh Yeah we all sucked at the old games. If we come back and we play them again, if we go if we go back and play them again, definitely we would have a good time bro, no doubt about it. But I'm glad you're trying out older games again. That's what we need these days. How best to get inside? Scale the wall and oh, that's not good. I'll never make it. Yeah, I knew it. Need to find another way. Knocking me over. No! Babene, where to? The water. I'm gonna start playing the Batman games soon, bro. I do have a plan. It's gonna take a while, though. That's true, yeah. Most people just care about the graphical, uh, graphical details nowadays. It's not about the gameplay aspects anymore. But Red Dead Redemption 2, Last of Us, they are decent games. Compared to most to play garbage coming out. It's mostly this new younger generation. They are not really smart when it comes to video game design casual gamers nowadays it is what it is just lucky that there are people like you and me still playing older games See, like in this game, you can pick up any weapon from any fallen enemy and use it. And there are different weapon types too. Same even in, in Assassin's Creed 3. 
I have to keep the older games alive. Yeah, that's that's why I'm doing YouTube for the most part. In regards to gaming culture, you know. That's why channels like mine exist so that people know what real games are and not the garbage that's coming out these days. And while I'm saying that, you know what's funny? Did you see me play Warzone? People think I'm this casual, you know, weak ass gamer because I keep playing single player games. But what they do not know is I used to play Warzone way back in 2020 and I played that game for like a year or two years almost. Alright. So when I came across certain console players who are YouTubers, who are bigger than me, alright. Who have been playing the game like the new Warzone 2.0 for a while now. And they've been playing it for a couple of months, so they are like level 500 and such. I'm only level 30. Alright. Once I start streaming Warzone 2.0 and they see me play the game, they are fucking perplexed. Like, damn, how are you level 30 and you play like a fucking beast? It's because I, I, I can not play competitive multiplayer games. Not to mention Battle Royale games. So... It's not that hard for me to grow my channel. You know, if, if I really want to be one of these, like, so-called uh, Fortnite streamers or Warzone streamers, all I gotta do is stream at least two or three times a day the same fucking game for three hours per stream. AKA nine hours per day. I have to keep playing the same game again and again and again and again. And within three or four months, I would reach, I could easily reach 1,000 subscribers. But that's not what I am about. I want to keep, like, an open... Like a varied uh, content uh, base for my channel, so pe so everybody has something to watch on my channel. Okay, I spend twenty. Uh, I don't buy skins, bro. If if I'm gonna spend money in a game like Warzone, I'm only gonna buy the uh, battle pass. Apart from that, you will never see me buy skins for a gun, or even I've even contemplated spending money on like operators, but even then, I don't think I'll do that. It's not that hard for me to get into a multiplayer game. I spend most of my younger years playing competitive first person shooters. That's why my aim is fucking insane. Whenever you see me play any first person game, my aim is like off the charts. Even Brian was shocked that day. He saw me play Metro Exodus and he was... He saw me like snap onto... The... Beast's heads. Like you know, you know those beasts that show up in the, the snowy areas? The big dog-like creatures? He saw me like snap onto the, onto the heads automatically. And then he thought I was... I had an aimbot and, and um, he's like... Uh... He didn't say that I had an aimbot. He, all he said was, you aim really good. Like, your aim is fucking insane. That's what he told me. That tells plenty now, doesn't it? Apex Legends. Uh, purple skin was $15. Yeah, I don't think I'll play Apex. If I really wanted views, right? If I really wanted subscribers. The cheap shit that I would do is keep playing Battle Royale games every single fucking day. That's not me, bro. Hell no. I listen to what people want, you know. I listen to what people want to see for my channel. If someone asks me to play Borderlands, I will do it. If somebody asks me to play Far Cry, I'll do it. If someone asks me to play the Metro series, I'll do it. That's how I am. I'm not like I'm... But the thing is, I do need space, you know. Sometimes I might be having like a big list of games to complete. And I might be really slow because I have IRL stuff to do. I, I have work IRL. So I can't really find time to stream like the one game who which I've been playing for most of the time on my channel. There are people that und understand and there are people that are like, nah, I'm not gonna watch this dude anymore. He keeps saying he'll keep playing this game, he'll play this game, he'll play this game and they'll just unsubscribe. Not much I can do about it. 
I want to play multiplayer games every day for eight hours a day. That is a subjective um, topic. I don't mind playing multiplayer games. I like when it comes to providing content for your viewers, right? Yo, the music in this mission is really good. Wait, I'll I'll talk later. What the fuck that just happened? I just jumped on the boat and they got pushed off. Yo, what the? Wait, I'm not supposed to get on the board, I think. Okay, okay, I'm doing it wrong. My bad, my bad. God, I love this game. That's true, yeah, funny game. Keep going, Ezio. Clear the way for us. I don't mind playing multiplayer games. I grew up mostly in high school and college playing uh, competitive first person shooters. So that's I'm okay, but yeah, I do get drained out. It's mostly toxic playing multiplayer games. You you will meet morons who can't play as well as you and you will meet hackers on the enemy team. You might even ha have a hacker on your team, you know. So yeah, I I don't really like that aspect but regarding the thrill and the fun of it and providing a variable entertainment to all my viewers is something i enjoy but i understand your point of view you don't have to fight them just grab them and throw them Back in the day when I played this on PS3, I would just run up and kill them all one by one. But now I realize you can just grab them and throw them. So I found a quicker way. I love revisiting old games and like after years and finding new ways to finish them or like finding new strategies to complete objectives. I enjoy that. Ah, he made it easier for me. Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield 1. Oh, those are good games. Not a uh, Siege, not really. Siege wasn't really my thing. Siege was kind of annoying too. Ubisoft, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't like Siege. Ubisoft really fucked it up big time. It was easy to make hacks for Siege. That's the issue. They didn't have like a proper anti-cheat. That's why it wasn't worth playing anymore. And then by that point, uh, by the time they actually found a solution, so many games came out, like so many competitors came out, nobody even bothered with Siege anymore. I agree. Battlefield 1 also has hackers now. Used to enjoy the first few years when it came out, way back in 2017 and 18. It's not skill based anymore, yeah, I agree. Little stupid things like that really piss me off. The, Really, uh, uh, things like that really kill my mood. The music is so good in this game. He's dead, idiota. Say a prayer later. I need to see. <laughs> I need to see Antonio. Be careful. Let me do it. You won't find Antonio. Oh, go do what he says. 
fu all'ultimo arrivato dagli ordini. Ehi, ehi, wake up! That was so funny. He's like, fuck him, he's dead, don't pray for him, we don't have time. Save me instead, you fucking moron. <laughs> he's the dude that busted his ass trying to row the boat all the way here, and she's... She's shitting on him. <laughs> Fuck are you? <laughs> Stupid the fucking game. <laughs> Music is still going on. Clean entry and exit through the thigh. Let's go. Get it out! Rosa, we must take care of now! Come here, boy. Oh man, bro, really? Yeah, it looked like there was something about to develop here. Oh my god, that's such a sad fact, man. I'm actually really... I am I am sad up, up, upon hearing that. Music is still going on. I think it's a bug in the game. PC version. Is most dear to me. I had lost Damn, she's fucking talking I've shit. Had spot for women in so I've heard. Don't look so surprised. We know all about you, Sir Ezio. Your work in Florence and the rest of Tuscany. Good work, too. If a little. Usually the music does not play here. Then you know why I'm in Venezia. I can guess. When you have a minute, come see me in my office. There's something we should discuss. Okay, now it stopped. Damn, well, thanks for sharing that fact with me, Arkham. That legit sucks, man. Thieves Guild Okay, let's go get down the wanted posters Take them down, I mean
Oh, man. Kind of hard. Okay, um, a great metal work here. That should do, I hope. And please come back often. Let's buy the full set. I don't want to buy anything apart from leather because we are going to get Altair's armor anyway. There's no point buying this. Like any other armor apart from this. We can buy weapons though. Can get this. I don't even use a small a small knife anyway. Okay. Let's go. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. I did that by accident. My bad, guys. Oops. I didn't use poison yet. I am sure that there's a berserk dart or something, right? Where you shoot something and they they all go crazy. Fall. Yeah, I know. I think that's pretty much in every Assassin's Creed game, isn't it? Is it only in the Ezio trilogy? Guards would always throw stuff on you whenever you are higher than them. Even in the Batman games, they would throw stuff at you. But yeah, it does break your parkour. I, I get what you mean, while you're climbing something and they throw rocks at you. But you can easily hold the shift key on PC and grab back onto something again. Yeah, it is annoying. But I didn't know how to do that back in the day. Like, I didn't know how to grasp onto something after getting thrown off balance by a rock. What's cafe? An interesting concoction brought to me by a Turk merchant. Here, have a taste. Little bitter, if you ask me. Just seems lacking somehow. I don't know. Have you considered adding sugar, maybe? Or latte? I suppose it's something of an acquired taste. Enough about that. Now, where were we? Our failure at the Palazzo cost us dearly. It will take time to recover. No doubt Emilio will use this pause to strengthen his defenses and continue his oppression of the district. You may not share our motive, but I know you share our goal. Mm -hmm. Why not gather your forces and try again? 
To act in haste would only bring more losses. No. We must resupply and draw new plans. Can ill afford to sit around and wait? Nor would I want you to. Work with us instead. Already my men begin to mend today's wounds. Seek them out. They'll put you to work. The sooner you aid them, the sooner we can strike. Molto bene, Messere. I accept. It is the right decision. Okay. Leader of Venetian Thieves Guild. Low social rank? What the fuck does that even mean? He's a lunatic. Ah, Ezio. I was hoping you might return. I want your advice on something. Of course. Tell me what troubles you. Emilio has turned some of my own men against me. Bribery and blackmail, is it? Yes. And we cannot strike until the traitors are dealt with. They're still somewhere in this district, keeping tabs on us and reporting back to Emilio. Not for much longer, they're not. I love killing people in Assassin's Creed games. I think one of them is on the boat over there, the ship. He made it easy. He he fell in the water. Fuck it. I didn't have to bother with any of his friends. Is this the same city where they shot the ending scene of Casino Royale? The uh, Daniel Craig film? Looks like it. Yeah, see? Speak of the devil.
Who won't escape? I can't see him anymore. What the hell is happening in this game? Oh. Wait, there's an objective behind me? Hmm. How did I not see that? Above me, Ben Trovato. What's the trouble? You and Rosa managed to escape from Setna, but the others were not so lucky. Emilio has captured them, and now they await execution. Do you know where they're being held? I know they're still in the district, but beyond that, no. You'll have to look for them. I'll have your brothers back here in no time. Oops, my bad.
Has he lost his mind? Can't see shit. Can I hire some thieves? Where did he go? I didn't want to be here. It's okay. Hmm. You belong down below with Preserve say your prayers, criminal. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, these missions are kind of annoying and boring. I mean, this mission... It looks like I've been playing the same kind of missions lately in this game. Santa. 
I hope they don't die. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to succeed. Annoying so mission, man. I aim to please. I'll let Antonio know about our progress. Come find me later. I've got another job for you. What sort of job? Meet me near the docks, and I'll explain. Molto bene.
Hold on guys, I'm just trying to order some dinner. It's 8.30 p.m. right now. Shit. Too goddamn expensive. Okay. I'm just gonna order McDonald's. Fuck this. Damn food being expensive everywhere. continue sorry I think I took way too long I don't know how long I took uh, let me see what did you order I ordered um, like a grilled cheese chicken burger french fries McNuggets that's pretty much all I ordered how much does it cost wait let me do the conversion It's about uh, I don't know how expensive it is. It's about five dollars, five and a half dollars, five dollars and fifty cents. Like the whole thing. No Pepsi though. I eat like I eat like a pig, but I don't gain any weight. <clears throat> so I keep eating junk food all the time. Rescuing my brothers was more than just an act of charity, Ezio. The men you freed would play a vital role. I took like five minutes. Out. Holy shit! Just ask for their help. And they'll join you. That's okay. Once I have my little band of thieves, send them towards a group of guards, and they'll create a distraction, opening the way for me. Exactly. Saves me from having to bloody my sword. I like it. Exactly. Now I'll tell you what to do with them. Antonio's plan calls for a bit of deception. We're to imitate his archers, which means we'll need Ooh. the armor that they wear. A shipment. Of Thanks for still being here, bro. Means a lot to me. And now we'll wait delivery to Seta. Really appreciate you and being here. <clears throat> when that's finished, I'll need you to fetch me a boat as well and bring it back here. Got high metabolism. Yeah, I'm almost 30 years old. I, I'm, I'm 27, bro. Fuck it. I'm just gonna. Everybody, most of them know my real age anyway. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna be 28 in six months from now. So, yes, I do have a, an insanely high metabolism. I eat meat most of the time. No vegetarian. Vegetarian food would make me weak. I can't function. The fact that I eat meat all the time and I still manage to be skinny is insane. I've been like this since I was a kid. Nothing crazy. My brother on the other hand, my younger brother, he's really, really, really obese. Even if he tries to cut down on his diet, he'd still put on like crazy ton, uh, like tons of pounds. Lucky jeans, I guess. You used to have that. I'm. You're glad you can gain weight. Yeah, it is subjective. Some people want to gain weight and they think it's a good thing, and some people don't want to gain weight and they want to eat as much as they can and still not put on any pounds. And even they think that's a good thing. So it is a, sub a subjective um, opinion. Can't really argue. Or <laughs> can't argue with that. Used to be 110 pounds. 
few years back. Ah, uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of that's like female range. That's like uh, I think that's how much a girl who's around five foot two. That's like the like balanced weight for a girl that is five foot two. Hundred and ten. Holy shit! Unbelievable. Can't imagine. Nowadays, I keep my weight up. I'm about 20 pounds heavier than that. 20, 25 pounds heavier than that. But I used to be like 95 pounds or something, which was fucking insane. Way back in college. Did not eat anything. Basically stopped going to gym and then I took like a month or two break and like my body really took a beating, like a big beating. And then I realized let's not take a long break from gym or like let's not take a long break from exercising. I went back to doing push-ups again, gained about 40 pounds back again. Some people lose weight because of depression. Some people gain weight because of depression. Each bo everybody's body is different, bro. Everybody's body's everybody's body is built different. It's not the same. Go away. So which part of your pathetic anatomy? I would never use smoke bombs ever. When I when I first played this game. <clears throat> oh these mother Trying to grab him and throw him in the wall. Okay, never mind. Graphics still look good even now, bro. I can't believe this game is over 14 years old. It's fucking crazy. Water is still good. The, the world design, art design. It's all good. This is exactly what we needed. I'll let Antonio know you finished the job. I don't know what exactly the fuck is is doing here. He's like everybody's errand boy all of a sudden. Worse than a damn slave, man. I didn't realize... Like when I when I first played this game, I didn't realize like how badly Ezio was being treated. I just played this game as a game. I didn't really give a damn about the story or 
like how people uh, interacted with the protagonist things like that did not make sense to me when i was a kid but now they do the hell is the sparkling song It has its charms, but how do you deal with the smell? It's kifo. So, what brings you to me? I was hoping you could help me with something. And that would be? I want to learn to climb the way you do. Oh. Va bene, I can do that. Well, I can't, but Franco can. Franco, muovere il culo! Show Ezio how to reach the top of that scaffolding. Begin in a hanging position. Then jump to the ledge above you. As you reach it, grab it with your hand and pull yourself up. She was so disappointed. <laughs> yeah. See how it works? I think so. Only one way to find out. Try for yourself. Ooh. I want to get that um, viewpoint. Jump, Ezio. I'm down, woman. Grab the ledge at the height of your jump. So, how did I do? I've seen better. Ah, you wound me with your cruel, cruel words. All right, smartjasso. Let's put your skills to the test. I'm all ears. Meet me in front of the Ferrari. Ferrari. Ferrari What's Fuck is not dead. Not you. Die, bitch. Finally, fucking hell, man. can climb faster like this now
Climbing a bit of scaffolding is all well and good. But let's see how you do out in the open. On top of that tower, then? Don't you pray on nothing. I just climbed the damn thing, didn't I? Oh fuck. Holy shit. I need to kill that damn guard. Oh, never mind. So? Looks like you've learned all I have to teach you. I'll let Antonio know of your progress. Finish your other tasks. We're almost there. Need to go back and develop the estate. Easy. Please enter. How about time? Wait, what? Your good work has restored us to our former strength, Ezio. We are ready to strike. Just tell me what needs to be done, and I'll see that it is. You'll approach from above under the cover of night. Emilio has posted archers around the palazzo. Kill them, but do so quietly. As they fall, my men shall replace them. What about the guards? When you finish with the archers, we'll regroup in front of this building here and discuss next steps. Nessun problema. I'll take care of the archers and return to you. Then it's settled. In Bocca al Lupo. Crepi Lupo. Let's do this.
says red, so pretty much anything that's red, you need to choose it. That was fairly easy. Ah, oh, man. It's okay, I guess. Why can't they fall down to the f ground? Bullshit. Yeah, die, bitch. I hate when they are so smart they can regain balance. Bullshit. My men are replacing the archers you've removed. The way to the palazzo is clear now. But not the building itself. Emilio's guards still patrol its border. Use my men. Is it fucking raining out there? The guards. Looks like it's raining it's outside, guys. And when it comes time to storm the place, remember what I've taught you. Seek out, though, Inzio. We await word of your success. Oh, that's my that's my homeboys. Uh, sorry, guys. 
I thought you were about with the bad guys. Oh fuck. The controls are annoying, not gonna lie. How do you get up there, man? This is so annoying. Okay, like this. Balcony. There we go. Of cards is crumbling, Emilio. A minor setback. It will be dealt with. This povero Shemo Antonio and his thieves. Never mind then. It's the assassin you should be worried about. Why? Is is he in Venezia? He's been here for weeks. How could you be so blind? Unlike you, I've been busy. Someone has to provide the weapons to our brothers in Firenze. Yes. And we also would be dead. Enough with the farm. What is it you want, Carlo? Maestro has called a meeting. Three days from now, at Santos de Dino. Very well. I'll be back. Assuming you still live. If you want my advice, I'd find a less conspicuous place to live. Seta is a target now. Seta is a fortress. If you say so. Goodbye, Emilio. Cazzo, what if he's right? You, call for my boat. It should be closed. When it arrives, load those crates and prepare to save. I'll be right back. If Carlos speaks through, I must find a place to hide, just until the meeting. Then There you go. Do not be afraid. I feel no fear, assassin. Only regret. I sought unity. Stability. Order. At too great a cost. Progress demands sacrifice. Non trova alcuna gioia in questo. Ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. What the fuck? Come, let's open the gate for Antonio. I'm so confused, man. Set has fallen and Emilio is no more. All thanks to you, Ezio. Go, tear down Emilio's banners. Return what he has stolen from the people. Tell Ezio. How can I repay you for your service? Money's always nice. Easy enough. What else? Emilio was meeting with a man named Carlo. He looked to be a government official. Do you know him? Carlo Grimaldi. He sits on the Council of Ten. Why do you ask? What are you up to? I have a meeting to attend.
We're back in... Where are we? Nice. Let's go explore the tomb. What the fuck? Due to the shortage of funds after the recent campaign in defense of the Republic's foreign interests, a levy will be imposed upon. You in the hall, you there. Why is I don't see him. Get him. Oh no. Hmm. At least the guards are gone. Need to find another way in there. Oh, shit.
I can climb this way. There's something over there. Hold on. There we go. We found it, boys. Oh man. This lever, okay. Should be easy. Hold on guys, I'll be back. Let me go get my foot. Uh, it'll take a minute. Hold on.
back guys Excellent. Oh boy. I'll finish this puzzle, then I'll end the stream, guys. I mean, I'll finish this tomb, and then I'll end the stream. Hope you guys are okay with that. Oh, come on. I'll have my dinner, and then I'll come back, and we shall play some Warzone. Warzone 2. Time to do salt. Oh, that's how you get on. Okay.
No, there's only West remaining, I think. There we go. Oh fuck. Shit. Nice. Oh no. So close man. Holy shit. Got them all. Hey, the assassin's logo. The assassin's symbol. Okay. Nice. There's only one more left. So I get the last uh, seal or the the coin. I should be good. I can get all tires armor and we don't need to spend, waste money on any other armor sets. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the stream right now. Um, shout out to Arkham Knight for being here the whole time, really appreciate it. If you're watching me for the first time, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on bell uh, turn on bell notifications for all. That way you don't miss out on any of my content. Comment down below if you have any feedback or suggestions. And do share my channel with your friends and families, guys, if they're into video games. That being said, I'm going to end the stream right now. So thank you all for your time, patience and support. BDBGP, how are you doing? I'm just about to end my stream. Thanks for joining in, bro. Hope you're doing good. 
Yeah, so thank you very much, Arkham Knight, for sticking around from the very beginning. Shout out to BDBGP as well. So, uh, all this being said, I'm going to end the stream right now. So, um, thank you all for your time, patience, and support. Hope you all have a good day or a good night, depending on where you're watching me from. I'll go have my dinner. I'll be back in 45 minutes. You're chilling, huh? That's good. I'll be back in 45 minutes. I'll have um, my dinner, and then we shall be playing some Warzone 2.0. So I hope you all have a good day or a good night depending on where you're watching me from. And uh, yeah, that's the stream guys. So I'll see you. Take care.